Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. On today's show, we have sports news and a look in last week's Club Rush. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Emma Hernandez. Today is Thursday, September 5th, and Good Morning John Burrow starts right now. Welcome back. Seniors, voting for the senior sweatshirt design has begun. Please fill out the Google form posted in the Class of 2025 Google Classroom. Voting ends tomorrow. Moving on to announcement for our freshmen. Elections for freshman co-presidents are taking place until 3.30 p.m. today, so don't miss your chance to vote for your president. Turn in your vote on the Class of 2028 Google Classroom. In other ASB news, the sophomore class is hosting a talent show. Auditions will occur on September 10th and 11th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Sign up through the QR codes posted around campus, and for extra information, join the Google Classroom. Now moving on, for students who are interested in volunteering, there are currently several opportunities with both the City of Burbank as well as some elementary schools in BUSD. If you are interested in learning more, visit the Career Center Google Classroom or the online JBHS Bulletin. Before we continue with our show, let's hand it over to GMJB reporter Brandon Robertson with our sports update. Good morning, Bears. This is Brandon here with your Thursday sports update. First off, football's games have been canceled for today and tomorrow against Harvard-Westlake. Girls Volleyball has their next game today and are hoping to bounce back from a loss against Chamondale on Tuesday. Frosh plays at South Hills at 3.30, JV at 4.30, and Varsity at 5. Finally, Cross Country did well in their first meet last weekend with Girls Varsity placing 4th out of 19 and Boys Varsity placing 5th out of 27. They race at Placentia this Saturday starting at 8. That's all for us today. Remember to stay cool as the weather heats up and back to you. Thanks, Brandon. Now moving on to our performing arts. PlayPro is holding a showcase of monologues, scenes, songs, and more. Show your support for the drama program by attending this one-night-only show tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the drama room. Tickets are $5 cash. In college and career news, LAVC dual enrollment classes start next week. Students must finish their enrollment by tomorrow in order to have access to their classes. If you're unsure how to apply, visit the Career Center during AE, Nutrition, or Lunch. Speaking of tomorrow, if you have not picked up your temporary lunch pass, please come and get it by Friday. They will not be available after that. Now, before we take a look at club news, today marks back to school night. The counselors will be having a short presentation at 545 ahead of the event. They will cover BUSD graduation requirements, college and career options after high school, important dates and deadlines, and so much more. There will also be a short Q&A afterwards. Be sure to come with your parents. After attending the counselor workshop, have your parents stay for back to school night. Doors will open at 5.50 p.m. It is also a great, great way to ensure that your parents are involved in your high school experience. We hope to see you there. Before we sign off, we have a couple club announcements. CSF is holding a membership drive until September 13th. Interested students can find an application in room 2304. Those interested in the club in the painting club can see Miss Nakashima in room 6203. The hiking club has their first meeting today in room 2209. Those aren't the only clubs meeting. ASL club also has their first meeting of the year in room 1223 at lunch today. The Futures and Healthcare club meets at lunch in room 1213. The Alzheimer Awareness club meets today at lunch in room 2312. Improv Club has a meeting tomorrow in room 6101 at lunch. If you want your club announced on GMJB, talk to your teacher advisor today. Speaking of clubs, let's take a look at what the students thought about last week's club rush. GMJB reporter Danny Camacho has the story. Hi, what club is this? Hi, this is the Bible Club. Okay, and what are you most excited for this year? I think I'm just really excited to meet new people and be able to talk about and ask questions about uh, the Bible. Hi, what club are you in? Uh, Burroughs Teens Teach Club. 
Okay. Uh, what are you most excited for this year? Um, I'm excited to just set up as many students I can with uh, service learning and paid uh, job opportunities. Hi. What club are you in? Uh, I'm in Theory Club, where I am the co-founder with Barlow over here of the Theory Club. Okay. Um, what are you most excited for this year? Uh, I'm most excited for maybe developing a podcast with our club. Um, I'm a part of the Dude I Love Freedom Club. Okay. What are you most excited for this year? This year, I'm most excited to just teach our fellow students about uh, be becoming a lawyer. I'm the pres I'm the co-president of Chess Club. Chess Club. Okay, that's cool. Um, what are you most excited for this year? Uh, I'm most excited for just to see, you know, at Club Rush, it's nice to see just all the clubs. This is Multi-Ethnic Student Alliance. Uh, what are you most excited for the, this year? I think we're most excited to do the Multicultural Festival again because it was really fun last year. I'm in Team Court. What are you most excited for this year? I'm excited for all the trials. I'm the president of the JBHS Outdoor Adventure Club. Cool. Uh, what are you most excited for this year? Oh, that's hard. Um, we have a hike coming up, which I'm pretty excited for. Well, Bears, that's all for us today. We hope to see your parents at Back to School Night. Tomorrow we will highlight one honor teacher and leader at Burroughs. I'm Emma Hernandez. And I'm Olivia Black. Have a great day, Bears, and happy birthday to our sports producer, Brandon Robertson.